and today is all themed beachy. So if you're like me and you're longing to go to the beach and maybe you can't get there quite yet, we're gonna do some home decor today that'll get you in that beach mood. So we're gonna take wax paper and turn it into a seashell. It's gonna look kind of like this. I don't know if you've heard of um, Kappa's shells, Kappa's shells. Um, I'm probably saying that wrong, sorry. Um, they're actually window pane oysters, but when you're just talking about the shell part, they call them the Kappa shell because of where they're found, I guess. Um, so if you're using it just for decoy, that's what they're called. So we're gonna make our own uh, if you can't get to the beach and collect them. Or just, you know, it's hard to get enough sometimes to make something. So our main supply today is wax paper. Really, that's it. Um, these shells in real life are fairly translucent. And we're going to get that same kind of feeling with the wax paper. So we're going to pull out three sheets of wax paper that are about the same size. So if you've watched a, give or a live DIY here at Home Talk before, you know that there's always a giveaway. So today we want to know where you would hang this um, home decor project in your home. Um, where would you put up some beachy decor? So let us know for your chance to win um, a home talk prize. So once you pull out the three sheets of wax paper that are all about the same size, um, you're going to color them. Yes, color. So that's going to get us um, some of these kind of variegated shades throughout our finished um, wax paper shells. So I've got a couple shades of brown and then I've got a silver and a gray. So you're just going to color one of your sheets. And I'm going to tell you that coloring on wax paper is not actually the easiest thing to do. So, and by coloring, I just mean kind of real big movements like this across the entire sheet so that you get, um, obviously in nature, these shells um, would ha wouldn't be completely translucent, um, you know, based on where the oyster lived and what it ate and all those things. Um, there would be a little bit of color. So we're just, you just really quickly, some different shades that you think, you know, mimic what this oyster might really be like. So I'm just, I'm pushing fairly hard onto the wax paper and just kind of scribbling. So I call it coloring, but we're not really, you're not trying to fill up the whole sheet. You're just kind of scribbling all over the paper. So then I'm going to put the colored or scribbled sheet of wax paper in between two other sheets of wax paper. Now, I am not always a big fan of ironing. It's not my favorite thing. Um, if I can find an outfit that doesn't require ironing, it's probably gonna be the one I'm gonna pick. But for this craft, you do need to iron a little bit. Just a little bit, it's okay. So, you're gonna put the colored sheet of wax paper in between the two plain sheets of wax paper. And you're gonna get some parchment paper and put those three layers of wax paper in between the two layers of parchment paper. We are going to melt those three layers of wax paper together. Obviously you don't want them to melt onto your ironing board or your iron. So that is what the parchment paper is for. So you're going to turn your iron up pretty high because um, we're trying to melt things. You want the steam to be off. Um, if you've ever used like those little beads that you melt together, um, my son had some in here a minute ago, but it's kind of that same idea. So you put the iron onto the wax paper. I, you probably can't see in the camera, but you can kind of, it gets that melty. I can see where it's like melting. The different sheets of paper together. So you're just going to go over that. Um, I would flip the entire thing over and do the other side, just like those melty beads, kind of the same idea. 
um, and you would get that all nice and melted together. And it's going to look like, put my iron down on something that's not going to get burned, this. So this is three sheets of wax paper all melted together, and you can see that color that's throughout, um, that really comes through. So once you have melted your paper together, then we need to cut out all the circles. So you can do this a couple different ways. You can take something round, trace it, um, and cut that out. Um, I used, I made about, oh, I don't know. There's probably 70 on my finished piece. So cutting them out by hand, one at a time, um, can be time consuming. So if you're just turning in, we are making some DIY Capiz shells for a home decor piece. So if you've ever seen, these are um, like window, point, window pane oyster shells, but when you just use the shell part, they're called Capiz shells. And we're gonna do a little home decor project with them today. Um, they're pretty popular right now. Um, so if you can't get to the beach, you can DIY them yourself. So we're just, we took three sheets of wax paper. They were all about the same size. Um, we colored one of the sheets and then we ironed it together and we get these sheets of thicker. Um, one sheet of wax paper by itself um, is just too translucent and too thin. Um, so when you stack them and iron them, not only then do you get to add the color, um, but it just makes it a little bit thicker. So don't forget that we are doing a giveaway today. Um, so let us know where you would hang up some BJ decor in your house. Um, so now that we've got the wax paper iron together, we can start cutting out our little individual shells. So I said you can trace a circle. Um, I just used some thread to trace a circle. That's about the size that I want. If you have a circular punch, you can do that. If you're using either, really either of any of these methods, you can also, this is um, another kind of a punch that's typically used for leather working. And you just lay it down, it's sharp all the way around. And then you use like a hammer or a maul. And I'm gonna bang this real quick. Um, okay. I have to do it hard enough. And that punches out um, these circles as well. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to do this. If you're using really any of the methods, I recommend layering the sheets or folding them over um, like a unicorn, not unicorn, accordion. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, just so that you can, you know, go through lots of layers or if you're cutting them out, um, you're cutting out multitudes at the same time. Or I said, if you have a circular punch, um, folding it up like an accordion also um, will help you, you know, reach. If you've got the circular punch, you obviously couldn't punch in the middle. But if you fold it up, then you can just punch down the method. And then it's going to be faster because you are going to need um, dozens and dozens of these shells. So if you're just tuning in, we are... Um, taking a beach vacation without having to leave our homes. Um, we're using wax paper to make these window pane capish shells for a home decor project. So we colored our wax paper. It's three layers of wax paper ironed together like this. And then we're punching out, cutting out our shells. So I've got a stack here of finished shells and you can see again by coloring them um, it just I think makes them look a bit more natural um, that is an optional step you could just leave them translucent 
here's our full sheet. But it just makes them, gives them a little more dimension and makes them so they're not all exactly the same. So once you have all your faux capis shells, then for this home decor project, we wanna string them together. So I've got, this is a little bitty hole punch. It's like 1 16th of an inch. Um, and I am going to use it to punch my shells. And I've used a couple different punches. So some of these are different sizes. That's okay too. Some of the ones I cut by hand aren't perfectly round. I think it makes it a little bit more, you know, natural looking. So I can grab a whole stack of them and then I'm going to punch a little hole at the top and the bottom of my shells. So let me punch these two so you can see. So this is our full sheet of three layers of wax paper ironed together. We colored the middle one with crayons. And we ironed them all together with um, our iron on a high setting. Don't forget to put the wax paper in between sheets of parchment paper so that you do not ruin your iron. As much as I don't like to iron, I don't want you to ruin your iron. So this is a fun way to add some beachy decor to your house um, without having to actually pick up all these matching shells at the beach. Um, or if you can't get to the beach, bring it home. Okay, so to string my shells together, I'm just using some thread. Um, I've seen some people that use like fishing line or other options, but I just, the thread works really well for me. So we need a picture frame and I'm gonna kind of measure off how long. So I am running my shells this way. I want my picture frame to run horizontal. So I'm just gonna measure how long I need this string to be. And then it's as easy as threading it through the top hole, through the bottom hole, and I've got my shell on the string. And then you just need to add in as many shells as you need to fill up your frame. You can go buy a frame, you can make a frame, um, pick one up at the thrift store. I was all excited because I found this frame for a great deal. And then I realized, but it had a picture in it. I thought, oh, that's fine. I'll take it home. I can, you know, take the picture out. Um, it was glued into the frame. So <laughs> that was a little bit more work than I was anticipating, but I got it out because you just need the frame. Um, if you've never made a frame before, you can get um, just trim molding at the hardware store, at the home improvement store. Um, and then make a frame. And then it can be whatever size you want. Um, these shells are a bit time consuming to make, but they're not difficult. And so it'd be a great craft to do with your kids or with some friends. Um, but you can make, you know, a really huge impactful piece. Um, you just might take some time, but go get the wax paper at the dollar store and it's a very inexpensive project. So there you can see a few of these strung. Um, obviously I would want a few more. I don't want them overlapping, um, but I want to fill up the space. So if you're just tuning in, we are making faux cabbage shells. Those are window pane oyster shells um, that are found in the province of Capiz in the Philippines. Um, so we're making faux window point pane oyster shells. I got lost with my sense of geography. Um, out of wax paper and crayons. So three sheets of wax paper, and really you're gonna need more than three um, because you're gonna need more than one sheet to get all the shells that you need, but you're gonna work with three sheets of wax paper at a time. Use your crayons. 
I used gray and silver and a couple shades of brown um, to color one of those three sheets of wax paper, put it in the middle, iron those three sheets of wax paper together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna put one more. Um, iron those three sheets of wax paper together. If you've ever used those melty beads, same idea. So put your wax paper between two sheets of parchment paper so you don't ruin your iron or your ironing board. And then once those that wax paper is all melted together, then you just start cutting out circles. You can cut them out with scissors by hand. You can use a circular punch. You can use this kind of punch, which is typically used for leather work, but works here too. You know, whatever you have um, that's going to cut your circles. These are about, um, I would say one and a half to two inches around. So once I have colored, melted my wax paper, um, cut out all my circles, I used my little bitty hole punch to punch holes, um, then I strung all my shells together. Then I'm flipping over to the back of my frame and I'm just using some um, washi tape but you could use whatever, um, you know, depending on how permanent you want this piece to be. And just, I would recommend though, even if you want it to be more permanent, it really helped me with the washi tape just to plot out where I wanted all the shells to go um, and to kind of measure out. And then if you wanted to go back um, and use something more permanent to attach them, but that helps you block out where all the shells go. And then it gets hung up like that. And if you put it against a wall, obviously they can't really spin that much, but they have a little bit of movement. So let's pull out one that has got lots of shells on it. So you can see they're kind of translucent, but they've got a little bit of color and that different crayon just gives them each a unique look. I meant, forgot this earlier. Once I had put a couple lines down, um, I did measure how far apart they were. The first couple I just eyeballed, like, okay, I like that distance. And then once I had done a couple, I measured, and then I could plot out where I wanted the strings um, so that it ended in a nice place. Um, so you can kind of plot that out, make sure it all fits the way you want it to, um, and get those all strung out. Once you have it all on there, you could go back and update that washi tape and use something more permanent, because obviously if somebody hits that, it's gonna fall off. And then as a final piece, I didn't let this one glue long enough, um, you can add some seashells for a little bit of extra beachy fun. Um, so if you can't get to the beach, even if you can, and you can't actually find 90 of these shells that all are in good enough condition to craft with, um, make your own. This is fun and easy, um, and it's a great, you know, something to do for the summer, and then you don't feel bad when you want to change it out for the next season. Uh, enjoy your beachy decor DIY. Um, come visit me over at Julie Measures for lots of fun and simple crafts. Um, I like to keep things simple and with um, kind of a few number of supplies because I feel like that's more attainable for all of us. Um, so come visit me, um, let me know what you'd like to see me work on, and I'll be back with another craft for you guys again soon. Have a great time and keep crafting. Bye guys.